this is interesting, right? Um, I'll tell you for a few different reasons. So, uh, and I'll tell you how this fits in today's to, into today's topic as well. So Stanford researchers raised $32 million as they build a privacy-focused blockchain. All right, so it sounds positive, right? So let's see if it is. The one thing you, you need to understand as well is Stanford has had their pause on cryptocurrency research for a very long time. If you go, I would say if you're going to go to any university information uh you know, place on the, on the web, Stanford probably has the most sophisticated information on cryptocurrencies. So if they're going to build a privacy focused blockchain, it's probably going to be very interesting. There also has been some speculation, right? We don't know for a hundred percent, right? We know people who have claimed, claimed to have built Monero, right? But we don't know for certain exactly who built Monero fully. Right. And Stanford has been linked to Monero in the past. There was, I forget what the URL was, but uh, um, I think there was a domain, a few domain names related to Monero before Monero came out that Stanford had original ownership of. So there's some speculation that Stanford in the early days created Monero kind of as like a little bit of a pet project and just released it into the wild to see what it could do. Very interesting. So they're going again to dip their toes in the privacy uh sector of the cryptocurrency space so they're going to call it espresso which is the worst name ever but all right so espresso has emerged from the stealth mode to announce a new privacy focused blockchain um back i think maybe that's the the maybe the group of stanford that's built it maybe not the name of the privacy coin itself um or blockchain itself um and they put $32 million of fresh funding. The goal is to bring uh, to market a layer one blockchain with lower gas fees, higher throughput with user privacy and decentralization. So Ethereum, Ethereum plus Monero is what they want to make here. Uh, collaborators at Stanford have raised $32 million in funding for Espresso. I guess maybe that is what it's called. <laughs> a new layer one blockchain focused on privacy and decentralization. This funding will provide the resources necessary to grow the team researching, building, and implementing the infrastructure and products that will make Web3 ready for broad adoption, uh, says a glo uh, blog post on Espresso's website. Actually, I'll take a look at that here in a second. The funds will also go towards bringing these products to market through a range of channels, distribution of native end user products, developer adoption, and partnership with entrepreneurs, startups, and enterprises. This is where it starts to get interesting in terms of this control that we're looking at from the people with big money. The company behind Espresso called Espresso Systems is led by four co-founders. The latest funding round was led by Greylock Partners and Electric Capital with participation from Sequoia Capital, Blockchain Capital, and Slow Ventures. Uh, if any of you know the story behind Zoom, right? Zoom was a well-built out technology that had been kind of under the radar for years. And then all of a sudden, right, Sequoia Capital gave them a ton of money. And then it became, I think, like, uh, I forget how much, but over like a hundred billion dollar company. And just Zoom took off in terms of adoption after that, even though they'd had a good product for years, right? So Sequoia Capital is no slouch in the VC world. And uh, so would you, would you trust a VC privacy coin? It's kind of like, in my opinion, a uh, just, I don't know, just uh, crazy, a little crazy. Uh, and so you see this here, right? Um, the US dollar and, and countries not being able to trust each other. Also individuals, right? Not trusting their governments quite as much as they used to. Governments wanting to clamp down to re uh, retain that control. People with large money that, you know, kind of, you know, double speak a lot. Um, these people say they're friendly towards crypto, but the joke, right? Literally in here, he's saying, right. Uh, who get the joke on crypto. Uh, so, you know, I think they're after a strong control of this industry and, uh, yeah, this is just kind of, a, uh, an interesting way that they might be going about it here, um, with this privacy coin, quote unquote, privacy coin, right? So the developers behind Espresso contended, uh, or contend that one factor hamper, hampering broader adoption is high transaction fees that fluctuate. Uh, Pulse Chain solves this. 
uh, as well as some other uh, other cryptocurrencies. Uh, soaring fees render many of today's most popular decentralized applications inaccessible for large numbers of, of would-be consumers. So anytime you're in a bull market and you hear the same sales pitch from a lot of different coins, a few of them are going to do it. The rest of them, they're just using it for marketing. And in this case, it seems like this is just marketing, marketing, marketing. Um, Espresso aims to change that by using zero knowledge proofs. Now I would say <laughs> Stanford, go and watch if you can find them. There are some interesting Stanford videos on zero knowledge proofs. Probably some of the most boring videos you'll ever watch in terms of like listening to them is like listening to paint dry. But I think a lot of people really need to focus on zero knowledge proofs. This is something that in crypto that I haven't heard people talking about as much. I think this will get implemented on Ethereum in a matter of uh, a short matter of time as well, which could uh, massively reduce its gas fees uh, within this bull market, not forever, but at least within this bull market with the current amount of adoption that Ethereum has. So they're also using zero knowledge proofs, which there are some very interesting talks, like I said, um, from Stanford on that online, if you want to go find them. Um, which allow a party to prove that a statement is true without showing evidence behind it, uh, said Ben Fisher of TechCrunch. Espresso uses uh, ZK rollups uh, to achieve greater throughput by consolidating transactions into a single proof, right? So making uh, basically easier to transact on that blockchain, uh, less intensive. If you use a zero knowledge proof to prove the validity of a large number of transactions that never get sent to the consensus protocol, then while the consensus protocol can verify their validity, they're not able to provide data to the users that is needed for constructing future transactions. So this would seem something that's very like the antithesis to what um, most regulations want to do to cryptocurrency. So are they actually going to do this is mm, kind of questionable. But they said, we're working on a way of integrating the roll-up carefully uh, with consensus so that we still achieve higher throughput and thus lower fees, um, but without uh, compromising so much on decentralization. So that sentence there, what does that exactly mean, compromising so much on decentralization? We'll have to wait and see. Espresso's blockchain focuses on privacy using an, uh, an open source smart contract called Configurable Asset Privacy for Ethereum or CAPE. CAPE allows digital asset creators to customize what information can be shown regarding ownership and movement of assets. Digital assets on CAPE, like stablecoins and NFTs, can be customized to balance transparency uh, with privacy by users, which is also really. <laughs> uh, CAPE transactions appear anonymous and hide the asset being transacted, but the creator of an asset can configure a viewing policy which ensures that select parties can decrypt select information about transactions for that asset. If this, if if basically this is going to act any way like Zcash, I would say that's not really truly private, right? Um, but yeah, I would say mm, it'll be interesting to see how uh, they try to pull this off. But I do think this is interesting uh, nonetheless. And so if you want to go over here, you can, uh, we, this is basically the introduction to Espresso Systems, but let's just go to the, what is it? What does the website look like? single shot scaling and privacy solution right <laughs> it looks like almost any other uh cryptocurrency website who we are our values i just, I just want to see not i don't want to see the values and it's, the website's not even loading properly so whatever but yeah um do you trust these people right uh, I guess, you know, wait on that. I think it's just taking time to load. Um, but yeah, you know, when you have governments basically worried uh, about their own sovereign currency and you have citizens not trusting their governments, a, a trustless system like Bitcoin is one of the best ways for people to transact and hold their wealth. And so the, the main message I would say is, right, if you're not, it, if you don't have some Bitcoin, right, um, not in terms of price for price appreciation, but uh, just in terms of, you know, being able to own your own wealth, uh, right? Having some Bitcoin, having some Ethereum, having some other coins, um, which you are able to own on your own, right? The, the good thing about Bitcoin is it is highly liquid. Um, but yeah, I do not trust the regulations that are coming about because they are meant to control. And also the private industry in terms of the VCs and the people with the big money already in the financial system, they're going to try to find ways to manipulate this as much as 
possible. So it is what it is. If you want to learn more about cryptocurrency and what is going on with Bitcoin and stuff like this, um, we do not shill. Uh, we don't take sponsorships or shill stuff, um, you know, uh, for other businesses or whatever, only for our own. So if you want more information on uh, the Cultivate Crypto Algo service, which is a webinar we do every two weeks talking about charting um, and, and upping your charting skills, uh, come over here and, and grab that. Uh, the Telegram chart access probably tomorrow. I'll, I'll show you guys a little sneak peek at some of the uh, updated version of this. And then we have the one-on-one -on -one single lesson currently available with our team, uh, AKA Greg, if you want to have a uh, personal touch on your crypto journey here and uh, ask any questions about your portfolio, come and grab a consultation here with Greg. So I'll throw that in the chat there if you guys want that would help to support the channel another thing that you guys can do to help support the channel smash that like button hit subscribe we currently have seven 317 people watching 195